And now, Gym Teacher Dreams Podcast. Uh, today's podcast is going to be all the places Ray goes. So as we get going, I've got some places. Uh, as you can see, I've got the background today. I found the old uh, green screen-ish, and uh, Ray's going to tell me where I am based right. upon my back, my back drop, whatever. So first off, Ray, how, what's going on today? Anything new? Nothing, really. I'm great. I did tell you, this is kind of ironic. We were talking yesterday, and I said, you know, like uh, just a couple times during this uh, shelter in place, I didn't sleep real well. And it, it was my own fault for staying up playing video games. Last night, I just couldn't sleep. I told you that. So uh, I think after, you know, we, we filmed this, I might go take a little gym teacher snooze. But, uh, yeah, I just could not get to sleep. And here, what I think happened, I I, I almost only drink water now. And uh, I had a Diet Coke, a big – Large diet, light ice is what I get. We got McDonald's because there's a fundraiser in the neighborhood. So we went, drew, you know, drove through, picked up some pork chops, and got some beverages from McDonald's and came home and ate it. And uh, I think that kept me up. So that was dinner time, you know. So, you know, when I don't drink, when anybody doesn't drink Diet Coke or, or I would just say caffeinated beverage, and then you have one at six, seven o'clock in the evening. I think that was what did me in. Okay, well that's no good. Yeah. Sleeping, yeah, sleeping, not sleeping is bad. Right. I, um, I, we covered it yesterday, so it was ironic that that came up um, last night, today, whatever. But I feel okay. I was a little groggy this morning, and you know, it's like one of those where you got the, like the dropsies, the fumbles, you know, trying to get things organized for breakfast for. Um, you know, uh, what do you call this? Like Zooming as a, a department and as a staff, we did that earlier. Yeah. And it was, you know, one of those things where just things were slipping out of my hands. But I learned a few years back that uh, when you're getting frustrated, this is actually something I learned from Dual Survival, you know, it's, it's a television show similar to Alone, similar to Naked and Afraid, where if you're getting frustrated, you step away. Otherwise, you're going to do something stupid. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to cut yourself, break something. So uh, I, I cooled my jets real quickly and – like I said, things are fine now, smoothed out. There you go. Way to go. Good job. I you are correct. Slept. I slept for Again. five hours. Five hours? That's what I do. So it doesn't okay. matter. I slept at 12 and got up about 5.30. So I slept, yeah, so five and a half was with my mask in, yeah, in, the, bed, nice. in the bed with my wife. That doesn't great. happen very often either. So, uh, yeah. So, I, well, yeah. I, I haven't, yeah. Anyway. Right before you pushed record, you were telling me that you heard a rumor that Pritzker was going to have a conference later today saying no school, rest of the academic year. Yes. So I pulled up the news, and the Chicago Sun-Times heading says, Illinois schools closed for the year due to coronavirus. So you apparently are correct. Good job. Right on top of things. Yeah. Well, actually uh... – my uh, elementary PE uh, boys uh, sent it out first, so then I checked it. But yeah, so yeah, okay. unfortunately, no school. So continue the e-learning process. Yep. So, well, if it's you know, honestly, any... it's probably the best. It's probably the best thing that they can do right now. I mean, just whether you like it or not, it's probably the best. So I agree. I agree. You know, they talked about you know. Potentially, maybe schools going back because they're they're low risk, but I just don't believe that. So, um, yeah, yeah, I think you're a little risk until you become risky. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, I I just think it's the right decision, and uh, yeah, I don't think the summer stuff's going. I, I imagine baseball is probably going to be postponed or canceled, and so yeah, we'll have even. You know, more months of uh, quarantine and social distancing. Mm -hmm. So when, when everyone is able to get out, they want to have to stay social distance too. They're gonna be going. We're gonna be going crazy. People are be going yeah. everywhere. Streaking in the quad. In the quad. In the quad. Bring your green hat. Yep. Or yeah. your blue hat. You got them backwards. You're like like Sylvester Stallone over the top. Well, the reason is the. That's I why see it I, now. Yeah. 
So it's, that's it's, why. It's clear and, to me now. Yeah. And you know, I'm not going to go hatless yet. I got you. So, that's all you got to say. Yep. Mm -hmm. So as I said before, the older places to go. So today I got uh, the background pictures and Ray's going to try to uh, tell me where I am. And if he doesn't, I'll have to try to get him, get him some guesses. So there's, they are some places uh, and then also some fictional places to also that you'll have to know. So two things. One, your current screen, that is in the discipline suite at Sycamore Middle School. I remember yes. that. You got yep. that one. And then, so you're going to put up something from like Guardian of the Galaxy that I've never seen before. I, I also suspect we're going to see Avatar. You and Jake Sully. No, <laughs> it was definitely on my list, but no, I did not go Avatar. We've kind of done the Avatar okay. thing enough, but no. All right, so I'll give you the first one here. Let's do this. So number one is... You are at the Alamo. Boom. Have you been there? <sighs> no, I've never been there. <laughs> Wait, look at you. One for one, it didn't ain't nothing but chick playing for you. Where well, you are correct. Yeah. I am in the Alamo right now. You, this those. is going to embarrass me to say this, but I, the reason I have an idea of what that is is from Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. You remember that? The movie? Uh, like, yeah, but someone I don't told the Alamo him. Part. Alamo Park. His bike was at the Alamo. Was and actually they said in the basement of the Alamo, and, or maybe the second floor of the Alamo, or something like that. So when they got to the Alamo, they found out that it was kind of uninspiring, and it, there was no basement or no upstairs. And they're like, "Uh, that sucks." So I can see that there's no basement, no upstairs. So I thought that's got to be the Alamo. All right, one for one. There's twenty of them, by the way. All so right, we, we'll get a good idea. Way to go. You the man. Number two. Is there an official name or you want me to tell you what that is? Well, it's it's a it, I oh, mean obviously it's, Yes, but and it's a, it's a famous one. Ring of Fire. Uh from what? Well, they might have been there from Nemo, the Ring of Fire. No. And an anemone? Is that what you're looking for? No, this is a this is a reef. A famous reef. The barrier. Reef. Reef. Yeah. This one okay. I didn't know, but okay. I it was pretty. And so yeah, this is I'm in the barrier reef right now. All right. So that yeah. This one didn't work. That's okay. It worked for you. It just didn't work for me, and that's okay. The rest of me, I don't have them loaded. All right. <laughs> Man, these are going to get tough, aren't they? No. You have They're never not. been. You have never been here. Uh, we snuck into this place on one of our vacations. I don't know if you remember me telling the story. Iconic college basketball stadium. You're kidding. That's Cameron Indoor? Yes, sir. So uh, That's yeah, what it looks like from the outside? Yes. That is Cam wow. Cam Cameron Indoor, St Indoor Stadium. So, yeah. I thought it was, okay. I, you know, like I said, we, did, we snuck in. Um, at one point, I don't know if we snuck in, but it was open. But yeah, I, I was surprised how it looked on the outside. It's kind of, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. Looking, so. But yeah, that's, well, that's what people say about Fenway. I don't know if you plan on having Fenway as your backdrop, but apparently it looks like a warehouse similar to what Cameron Indoor Arena looks like behind you there. And you wouldn't think this is a baseball field until you go inside, and there it is. Really? Oh, no. Okay. I that's what I've heard. That. I've never been there either. Yeah. That's I'd like to. That's for sure. All right. Next one. I'm glad I saw that one, Nick. Good job. Betcha. Oh. 
<laughs> Eagle Point Park, buddy. Dang Woo! right. Dang I right. love it. There you go. Warm fuzzies right here. <laughs> That's good stuff, dude. Uh, yes. What did you guys call it? Did you call it the castle or the tower? What did you call that? I don't know, but uh, we have, for our family, we kind of have our uh, iconic picture. You've seen it, right? Above our TV. I, yep, I've seen that. And that's where we were. That's where the kids were. Where it was up in Eagle Point Park in Clinton, Iowa. This is what I remember. That picture, I, it brings a smell to my nose. When you went inside, like the center ring smelled like urine, you know, always. Yeah. And I'm sure it's no accident. But, uh, yeah, I can smell what that the inside of that thing looks like, what the inside of that thing smells like, just looking at the picture. And for those those are new or don't know, Ray and I grew up very close to each other, you know, you know 20, 15, 20 miles apart. So, you know, this is one of the places, you know, where, you know, we would go. It's a it's a park in Clinton, Iowa. Uh, I had relatives in, in Clinton, so we would go, and they were right next to Eagle Point. So I always went to Eagle Point. Uh, how about, did you, go, did you ever play in the uh, playground? Where you went in the tunnel that went was underground. Oh yeah, the tunnel. Yeah, I don't listen. I, don't I was scared to yeah. death, scared to death of the tunnel. I thought if I went in, I wasn't coming back out. For sure, for so sure. I didn't spend much time in there. Yeah, <laughs> me either. Uh, you know, but yeah, I, I could I could see it right now. Uh, you know, they they had the Christmas light, the festival with the lights show every year still. And it, you know that uh, goes through here. So yes, I knew. I figured you'd like this one also. Oh yeah, that one made me feel good. The next one. Oops, sorry. That's Alcatraz. That is, on the way to Alcatraz. I'm in a boat, while well, I'm on or a boat. Maybe you're on your way out of Alcatraz. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Are you? Uh, yes, I'm. I'm <laughs> facing the other way, so maybe I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. Yeah. Yes, but that is Alcatraz. Well done. Well done. Thank you. Are you keeping score? Three out of five. That's all I do is win. All three out of five. Yes. Oh, I've seen those. I don't know if I will come up with the name. Dang it. Or where it is. That. that. Iconic That's, place, yes. Sure. Those aren't on the Galapagos Island, is it? Or islands? No? No, I don't think so. It is. And aren't, like their bodies like underneath too it's not just the heads isn't the part of their body buried i did not or is do that my just research theory that i did not do my research but this is easter island ah dang easter it. island yeah yes so, sorry an iconic ah. place i have not been there myself oh yeah never been but yeah good chance i'll never go to <laughs> me too i don't think i'll be <laughs> going to easter island it looks like a cool place yeah, absolutely. <laughs> One-Eyed Willie's uh, ship. That's from Goonies. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, buddy. Yes. One-Eyed Willie's <laughs> going to get the treasure right now. With the, we're Goonies. Got to save, yeah. save our hood. That's right. Yes, yes. If you don't hit the right note, we'll all be flat. <laughs> yeah, one of my yeah. favorite lines ever. <laughs> I was say, say, well, good line in the movie. Yeah. Love the movie. Oh yeah, it's one. It's up there, all time. One of my all time favorites for sure. Yes, sir. <sighs> now, obviously, this could be many places. So you know that's out there, but. Uh, I don't know if you. This is Greenland. I just want. I just wanted. And once again, this is a. This is a community in Greenland. Could you imagine living somewhere like that? It's funny you say that. Do you remember yesterday 
Um, I said that I had a game prepared that we could do. One of the questions relates to, you know, living in an environment like that uh, and, you know, what it would take for you to do that. Um, and I said, sign me up, but it would be hard, you know, because the, the question in my game is, could you do it for a year? Well, absolutely. You know, you give me a million dollars, I could probably do just about anything for a year, you know. Um, but for the rest of my life, I mean, that might be tough. But, I mean, let's be honest. I'm probably staying inside and maybe playing a lot of video games, you know. <laughs> it does look, it look do does look beautiful, though. And I, I, yeah. I almost rather like the cold than the, than the heat. So I, I would do Greenland better mm -hmm. than somewhere really hot. Yeah. To be honest with you. Okay. I I'm get... probably with you, but I, I would have to think about that one. I don't do heat and humidity at all anymore. <sighs> Come on, dude. That's a cartoon. Yes, it is. That's uh, the Jetsons. That's wherever yes. uh, George Jetson works. Yes, sir. Jetson's place. So but is well there... done. Is that his home or his office? I thought it was her house, but I am not 100%. But I did ask when I, uh, internet.com for the Jetson house, this is what showed up. I'll take it. The house. I'll give you that. It's yes. house. So did if you, you want to do half credit, I'm okay with that. Did you watch the uh, Jetsons? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Can you sing the theme song? Uh Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. No, I I couldn't come up with it, but it's like me, George Jetson, Jane, his Jane, wife. his wife, yeah. Their dog, Astro, yeah. whatever, I mean. Right, right. So you have the idea, yes. Yeah. It was I right for cartoons right. back there. Mm -hmm. Wasn't top five. My fave, was on my fave list. This is from Lord of the Flies, okay? But is there a name to their island or whatever? Or no? no, that's what I was just looking. That was what I was looking for. Is Lord of know, the Flies? What, we have Lord of the Flies, a movie. We own movie, bait, one of the movies yeah. based on the book. So, well done right. again, Lord of the Flies. It's funny you say one of the movies because you know when I was like, I don't know, probably like in middle school, like the the newer movie came out and I, that was the only movie i, I was aware of right mm -hmm. but then just i mean recently we're talking probably within the last year i saw that lord of the flies was on so i tuned in and it was the old one you know which was black and white and right. not as entertaining entertaining but uh it was still neat to rewatch it you know 25 years later yeah that's you know that's an interesting um topic where that would happen what would happen i mean there have been a lot of different shows and and movies based upon it but yeah it's an interesting yeah. book one of actually one of the books i liked when i was a youth well once i knew it was a movie i wasn't reading the book so <laughs> all right <laughs> manny's Woo! Yes, it makes sir. me hungry, dude. But where's the tacos? You gotta find a picture of tacos. Too. I know I couldn't get both, so but yeah, that is man, that is a picture of Manny's pizza. I think that even delicious. sausage and pepperoni, my favorite, right there. I don't see yeah, it up. But yes, look at that. I know it. Should, should drive down just to pick up the pizza. What are you doing we, this afternoon? <laughs> we talked about going to Sterling. Yeah, dude, yeah. and yeah, if we drive to Sterling, pick it up then that, we're eating it on the way home. And I mean, it's just, it works out. If you need to get out of the house, you let me know. I know. Dang, oh. I can taste it. Oh, oh I know. It, it, yeah. It, oh gosh, I shouldn't have done that. You're right. You cause, oh man. And I mean, here's the thing. I just got done eating lunch before we sat down to do this podcast. And now I see Banny's and I'm like starving. It feels like I'm starving. I need it. I need it. <laughs> uh it's another local from local place from back home so since you said local dang it there's two thoughts in my head 
I want to ask for one more clue. Is that Illinois or Iowa? Iowa. Makoka to Caves. Yes, sir. Yes. Makoka to Caves it is. I've never been. I don't what? I I don't know if I have been there, to be honest with you. Right. I don't think I've been to that point, but it is iconic, and I, I think I've been there, but I, I feel like I just kind of, like, went in, not even all the way in the caves, but just, like, in the, like, one part of it and came back out. I feel like, if I remember right, maybe we were on our way home from, like, a vacation, and, uh, which probably meant, like, Des Moines, Iowa, you know, go to uh, Adventureland and right, Altoona right. Yeah. or yeah, whatever. Because yeah. yeah. on the way home, we'd, cut, we'd go through, like, uh, colonies and maybe stopped at Makokita Caves or something like that you know like it was just a pit stop you know oh we got to see this since we're this close but yeah like you uh I didn't spend any great amount of time there how about the pizza place at Makokita wait no that was Miles actually I'm sorry you ever been to uh the pizza place at Miles well it was it was really good you're not talking Gino's and Preston are you I am talking Gino's and Preston I was wrong again Yes, Gino's and Preston. <laughs> I'm old. I mean, I can't imagine there's a good one in Miles. You know? <laughs> For some reason, but that's Gino's what popped in my legit. head. But, but yeah, Gino's and Preston. We, uh, I used to play softball out there, and, uh, yeah, we had pizza a few times, and a few more times had a couple pitchers of beer. But, um, yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The pizza. Uh, it's not Manny's, but. Of course, of course, and of course, but not much is. All right. Time. All right. You said Times Square, right? You kind of froze a little bit, but Times Square, yes. When New York, New York. A little bit. So, yeah. New York, New York. I don't know if I'll get there myself. Concrete jungles. (laughs) Next one. You know, while you're clicking away there, uh, I mean, New York is a place I could potentially you know, see myself getting to eventually, you know, maybe three, four years from now, we'll say. Yeah. (laughs) Whoa, (laughs) boo, jeez. Represent. That one, I'm just going to guess. Oh, you were you going to give a clue? Uh, uh, We are not in the U.S. I'm not on a boat in the U.S. But it's one of the largest rivers in the world? Yep. It's either the Nile or the Thames. It is the Nile. I, okay. I'm that was, on a that boat. was my first guess. I'm on a boat in Think on long. the Nile. Okay, on the Nile. Yes. Think long, think wrong. There think. you go. There's my uh, guide, my tour guide right there. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. That's where, where I need to be. Grand Tetons. What'd you say? The Grand Tetons? Where is that? It's, is it part of uh, Yellowstone? I don't know. I have many Yellowstone. That's on my list. Uh, But before you get to Yellowstone, you have to go through these mountains. The mountains? The Rockies? Yes. My brother-in-law is going to kill me. This is Rocky Nat Mountain National Park. You know, right there. I'm going to check it out. What are you checking? Grand Tetons, where they're located. It is my, it's Wyoming. Gosh darn this. I have split screen going on, but you only see like a little bit when you're right, split right. screen. Yeah. Kind of like when it's cold outside, I suppose, right? Mm, maybe for you. 
While you're doing your research, I will put the next one up. Ooh, that's, gosh darn you. That's a space needle in, uh, which side? Okay, space, space needle and then Mount Helena. Is that right? Which mountain is that? Dang, you might get extra credit. I don't know what mountain that is, but it is it is a space needle in Seattle. Seattle. Yeah, okay, I'm just making sure. Just but make, dang, make sure. Look, look at you dropping knowledge, you knowing that it's Mount Helena. I want to go to Seattle. That's one of the places I want to go for some reason. Okay. Are you going to drive or fly? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to uh, going to get an old uh, party bus and turn it into a travel, nice travel for a uh, travel car, and we're going. It's on my list. Yeah. Um, so anyway, the reason why I wanted to look up uh, Grand Tetons is I was thinking for a moment that they were like right near. Rocky Mountain National Park or whatever you had shown before that, but it, it, you won't believe this. The Grand Tetons are in the Grand Teton National Park. Oh. So um, that is uh, Stonehenge behind you. Yes, sir. Stonehenge. I'll never make it there, but there are two things. I've heard that you know, like, like the image that you have in your head is like completely different than like what it really looks like there. Like, Apparently, there's like a maybe like a road that goes like right by it. Like you think the uh, Stonehenge is like in the middle of nowhere, but apparently there's like a major road real close to it. So really, and I've I've heard that about like some of the pyramids too. Like you have in your mind they're in the middle of the desert, but like the pyramids are in like the middle of these largely populated areas. But of course, I will never see either of them. That ain't cool. They they, they do need to preserve these historic historic places. We're just. I think you got about three more. Ah. Dang it. Is this a fictional place? This is like a part of the human body, isn't it? It's, it is inside of something. Oh, come on. Inside of something? Are you in the belly of a whale? Oh yeah. Is um, is it Moby Dick? I don't know, but this was when I when I typed up inside of a you know inside of a whale's stomach. This is the closest I had to look like it was authentic. Okay. I don't think it is, but uh, yeah, you see the tongue right you know right there right there. Okay. And yes, I am in a whale's stomach right now, as if All right. I was in. Moby Dick, the movies. This is a place I'd like. Whoa. What happened? Did you stop it? There you go. Um, this is um, Italy, right? It is Italy. Place that I want to go. My heritage, my background being I, Italian. Yeah. Is it a specific place in Italy? Is it yeah. Rome? No. Florence? Venice. Venice? I feel like a failure. Well, you're okay. passing. That's cool. But yes, Venice. All right. And the last one. I would bet all the money I have that you know this one. I don't have I don't have much. That's the Wrigley Field. Yes, sir. Wrigley Field. In the bleachers. That's right about where uh, Ronnie Wu used to hang out. Yep. So there you go. That was my all the places you will go, you'll go. Did you ever get that book? Um, 
I don't think I've ever gotten it, but man, there's a lot of people that get it for like graduation gifts and stuff like that. I've yeah. signed a few over the years, you know, for kids, you know. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm, I'm familiar with it. Yeah, I got it for graduation, so. Did you really? Yeah. Did your teacher sign it or family or no, anything? No, it was my buddy's buddy Aaron's uh, parents. Okay, cool. So yes. Did they know you'd go to Sycamore, Illinois? <laughs> I don't think so. You know, his dad um, drove from Savannah to Kings for a long time because he, he was a principal at Kings. You're kidding. No. Nope. Wow. Yeah. That's a that's, that's quite a bit of commute. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right. That's a good game, man. You can come up with a, a few more. That's fun to play. Yeah, yeah, and it it just it just hit me uh, with your background. It's just one of those where it's just like, boom. Yeah, this would be fun. So and it yeah. and it was. All right, good. All right, so this has been a gym teacher dreams. All the places you'll go, and Ray did pass it, pass the uh, quiz as always, as he barely was, B he minus was a solid B plus student in school. So all right, until next time, America. Click subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll see you, ABCU.